when you had installed the smart online order app, you may have forgot to upload a logo and you may have forgot to upload a header image. What's a what's a header image? Header image is in this blue area. It's a good idea to have a picture of a food here or an item you're selling. That way when customers visit, they get an idea of what you're offering. Or let's suppose you did upload a header image, you did upload a logo, but you want to change it to something different. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do just that. The first thing you want to do is find your logo. Your logo is your business logo. You may find it on your computer, on your desktop folder, in your downloads folder, or if you can't find it there, go to your website and get your logo. So for example, here is a business, here's their website there's their logo so easy way to get the logo is just go to your website and download your logo just double click it right click it if you have a windows computer and just press save image as or just press download try to save it to your desktop so you can easily find it or wherever you normally save downloads at once you do that it'll be saved on your desktop next thing to do is find a picture of a food so a food picture is the header image we're going to upload if your website does not allow you to download a header image or if you don't have one, if you do have one, use that. But if you don't have one, then you have to try to find one. So in this example, it won't allow me to download this image I want to use for my online order page. And I'm going to keep looking if I can find something. This one doesn't allow me either. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and find one because the theme of this website is seafood so i'm going to show you how you can get a picture of a seafood go to google.com type in the word unsplash unsplash the reason why i'm taking you to unsplash is because unsplash has images you can use and they're not copyright protected meaning you can use it so for example i'm going to go here right now and then i'm going to type in the word seafood so for example this website here, it says, read more about the Unsplash license. When you click on it, it says, all photos published on Splash can be used for free. You can use them for commercial and non-commercial purposes. You do not need to ask permission from or provide credit to the photographer or Unsplash, although it is appreciated when possible. In other words, you are free to use these pictures. So make sure when you do get your pictures, come to this site to get them because that way you are protected and safe. You don't want to use somebody else's image. But in this website, they're giving you permission to use these images for free. Okay. So again, it's called Unsplash. So if you don't have a picture of a food, you don't have something to upload as a header, come here and get one. The first thing you want to do is type in the name that closely, closely resembles your offering. In this case, we have seafood. Find something that closely matches your business, okay? It's better to have your own picture, but in this case, I'm showing you a different way to do it, okay? Uh, because you may not have one. You may have just started your business and you don't have any food pictures. At least get something up and running for now so people can get an idea of what you're offering. So I'm going to go ahead and look through here and find something. This picture seems the most appropriate for this because I see something very similar in the background, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this image, okay? So what do you do now? You wanna you want download this image. So press this button here. Actually, don't press this button. Click on the image first. Click on the image and then press download right here and press this icon on the far right and do a medium size because you, you don't want a huge image so that it slows down the loading time of your order online page do a medium this is preferred once you do a download medium it will be saved on your desktop or computer or download folder okay next thing you do is you go to the back end of your order online page uh, you should have got an email on how to get to the back end um, okay and here's what the back end looks like so you want to go to the back end this is your order online page i'm going to go ahead and confirm that next thing you want to do is you want to find a place where you can upload your header image okay i'm going to upload it right here see in this blue area i'm going to upload my header image so how do you do that again you do it from here 
So before I do the header image, I'm going to upload my logo because that one's much easier to do. So you press DIVI and you press theme options. Again, at the very bottom left. Um, remember, uh, try to avoid making changes here. Only do these changes as you see in the video because you don't want to mess up your order online page. But in this example, uh, since you are watching this video, go ahead, do this because you are following the example uh, that will allow you to make that change without messing anything up. So press DIVI, theme options right here. Once you press theme options, you'll get a place where to upload your logo right here. See, it says logo right there. Okay, we're just going to work only on the logo. Upload and then choose your file from your computer. Okay. Since I already have it uploaded, I'm going to choose it from here. How, do, how did I get this logo? I got this logo from right here. Remember, I pressed double click and I press save image as. I downloaded it. Okay. And I'm going to press set as logo. And I'm going to press save changes. Remember, you have to press save changes. Once you press save changes, go back to your order online page, refresh the page and see what it looks like. Okay. So far, it looks good but it's kind of small. Yours may be bigger, but in this case, kind of small. I want to make that bigger. So how do I make it bigger? Go back to the back end. This time, press Theme Builder. This one right here, the second one. Okay, so Theme Builder. So you're basically doing the second one down. I'll actually apologize. It's Theme Customizer, the third one down. Okay, so the third one down is the one you're going to select. Okay, so again, you go to Theme Customizer and then find where it says header and navigation. It should be the second one. And then press primary menu bar. And then you'll see something called height logo. So I want to do height first. Make that logo nice and big. And then again, if you want to do these settings, you can. See, it just kind of makes the logo even bigger like that. So you can do that as well. I'm going to, I think this is a good size for it. And I'm going to press publish. I'm going to scroll down so you can see the word publish. See the word publish? Just press publish, okay? Once you press publish, now what we're going to work on is the header image. The header image is the next one we're going to work on. Once it's published, press the X button here at the very top left. There's an X button. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's an X button there. And then now press pages, okay? P-A-G-E-S, pages, top left, pages, okay? Not uh, Make sure not to do it in the post. You want to go on the pages. Once you're in the pages area, press order online. Why are we pressing order online? Is because we want to change the header image on the order online page. See, this is the order online page. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to press edit. There's a few ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the easier way. Um, okay, so do you see where it says full width header? You're going to press the three lines, okay? Remember, uh, things change. Uh, by the time you may watch this video, it may look a little bit different for you. Uh, so so kind of go with what you see because you're going to look for something called module settings, okay? Uh, you, yours may have a different name. See how mine says module settings? Mine is a three lines, okay? So you're going to press this button here. So a full width header. Why am I doing full width header? Because this is called full width header. It's a full width and it's a header. So we're going to actually do that one. Okay. And then another thing I want to mention is that there's checkout page, and there's cart page. So we have to do the same steps uh, three times. So let's go ahead and start it off. That's why it's better to do this from the very beginning when you create your order online page because it's all done for you. Uh, so if you do it now, it takes a little bit longer, but we can still get it done. I'm going to press full width header and then see how it says order online. If you want, you can change this. Um, it's up to you. You can say something like, "I'm just gonna. I'm kind of got. I'm kind of giving you a different, giving you more ideas of what you can do here since you're already here, serving the best seafood." Okay, I'm gonna just serving the best seafood. Again, this is something optional. I'm teaching you or trying to show you that you can make this as well. But the main point of this video is to show you how to change the header image. So you scroll all the way down until you see background. See background right here. And then you'll notice something blue. This looks very familiar. Why is this familiar? Because this is also blue, indicating that 
this is the image we want to change. So just click on it or click here, whatever. It doesn't really matter where you click on. Just click on it. Now choose your background image. I have this picture here. I'm going to press set as background. And then now, remember, uh, just do this part. Try not to make too much additional changes because uh, just by uploading the image, it'll be just fine. Just press save and exit. And then press update. Once you press update, give it a few seconds and then refresh the page. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. Now it's from blue. It's going to show the items. I mean the background category image. And then I also wrote serving the best seafood here as you guys as you guys saw. You don't have to do that. I just did that to show you. Um, and as you, as you guys noticed, the logo is much bigger as well. So I think this is more presentable for the online ordering. It will help you get more orders because it looks to me it looks a little bit better. Um, and then let me show you something else as well. Uh, you may have, you may be asking the question, but wait, this is kind of small. I want to make it bigger. Well, you can. So you just go back here again, press full width header, and then uh, there's your order. One, there's your subtitle right there, and then you press design right here, design, and then you're gonna find uh, subtotal. Okay, scroll all the way down until you see subtotal. Title text. This is title text. You want to keep that just the way it is. Body font, text color. Yeah. So you want to go all the way down until you see subtitle. See, there's subtitle text. Okay. So right now it's it's default regular. Okay. Uh, let's make it um, 30. Okay. So again, you don't have to do this. I just showing you that you can make these changes. Uh, so just be careful. Um, so as long as you don't mess too many things up, um, just be careful with the color you choose because you want it to uh, be uh, user friendly on all devices. You don't want to choose a yellow color and then uh, have somebody from their iPhones can't read it because it's yellow color. Uh, just keep it the color it is. Um, if you can, that'd be the best option. Now press save and exit. Now we're going to update it again. And then I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. There we go. See, serving the best seafood. So um, that's how you make the changes to the to the background. Now, now that now I am finished. But remember, uh, there's three other pages. So you wanna you wanna repeat that step. So for example, when I go to the checkout page, you'll notice that it still has a blue background, right? So repeat these steps again for your checkout page. So press all pages. Checkout. You can put up different picture for the checkout page, uh, if you want. But repeat the same steps you did for the order online page, the checkout page, and the my orders page. Okay, these three pages, and that will give you an image background for all those three uh, pages. Okay, uh, and that's how you do that. And one last thing before I uh, before I go, when you go to your website, you'll notice it has a home button. When they go to the order online page, you'll notice that it says order online cart checkout. I think it's a good idea to have a home button here as well. This is optional, but I think if you want to do it, you can. Go to your website, copy the link, and then press Appearance, Menu, right here, Menu. And then, do you see where it says Custom Links? Type in the word of your home page. Just, just type in Home, and then put the URL here, okay? So the, the website name is theboiler65.com. Make sure to include the HTTPS, everything. Just copy the URL and paste it here, okay? This is your main home page of your website. Add to menu, just like that. And then put, put it at the very top. The reason why I'm doing this is, let's suppose somebody comes to your website, presses order now, comes here, and they come to your order online page and they want to go back to your main website so they can just press home and they go back there again so it's like a link to go back and forward okay again this is optional you don't have to do these things you don't have to add this text you don't have to make it bigger but i was just showing you uh because i was already there uh, to give you some additional ideas you can do all right and that's how you make changes to the logo to the header and to add a home button thank you so much